My name is Finley. Uh, we are in Belle Isle in Detroit. I was 13 when I was diagnosed with an amyloblastoma. I had a wiggly tooth back here, and I thought that was weird, but it didn't. I just thought I had something caught in my tooth. I went to the dentist, I got a scan, and they found everything up here, and my wisdom tooth was all the way in my sinus cavity. And the word cancer never came up. The word tumor never came up, so I wasn't really worried about it. I was just like, oh, that's just another weird thing about me. That's okay. And then, you know, I went to other doctors, and then they told me that it was an amyloblastoma and that it was eating away at my cheekbone and my eye socket and my palate. They didn't really know much about it because it's really rare. So it was a quick in-out surgery. Um, and then I went home and it, that's, that surgery didn't scare me. And then six months later, it grew back to double the size. I remember sitting in the doctor's office and I already knew I prepared myself and he's like, it grew back. And I didn't cry. It wasn't sad. I just kind of sat there. And then I remember getting in the car. My family was with me and I just, I was like, oh my God, this is happening again. It's when I got into the hospital, they did the surgery. And then I remember looking at myself in the mirror because they had cut, you know, all of this up and I was so swollen and I didn't even look like me. I looked like a stranger and I was like, what is my life, you know, come to? This is crazy. Not a lot of people have this happen where you look in the mirror and you don't recognize the person you see. You'd think that it would totally crush my confidence completely, but it kind of gave me a little power back. You know, I had to look at myself like that, and I'm fine now, like my face looks normal. So, I don't know, if I can walk through school and still be swollen, then I can walk through life like this and be fine. So it, it built my self-confidence more than crushing it, which is a different way to take it. Any situation that you're in, no matter how low you get, no matter how many dark days that you have, remember that it's not forever and that you can break through your problems and become a better person because of them.